Hi students, in this session we are going to discuss about how to do the experiment of determination of plants constant using uh, LEDs in the virtual lab. Now the equipments required here are a variable power supply or a DC power supply with a rheostat, a microammeter, voltmeter, resistor and three, uh, three or more LEDs. And the theory of this experiment, as we have already discussed, is that LEDs are semiconductor devices that emit electromagnetic radiation in the uh, optical region or visible uh, region of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, LEDs emit light only when they are uh, forward biased and this forward biased potential should be above a minimum threshold value. So these are the two conditions required for LEDs to emit light. One is it must be forward biased and the second one is uh, the applied forward bias potential must be above a minimum threshold value. Now when these conditions are satisfied, in this semiconductor electron hole pairs are produced. Now, when these electron hole pairs recombine, again a photon of energy is released and these photons uh, will have a wavelength corresponding to that in the visible region of the electromagnetic spectrum. And we can observe those photons as light, visible light. Okay, so this is the principle behind the working of an LED. Now what we have to do here experimentally is you have to find out the minimum energy needed to create the electron hole pair. For that we increase the potential from zero and as the potential is increased at some threshold value called V0 uh, the LED lights up or the LED begins to give out just begins to give out the visible light radiation. So that voltage needs to be noted. Okay. So uh, here the equations that you use is EV0 that is uh, the energy of the due to the threshold voltage applied EV0 is equal to H nu that is the energy of the photon released on the electron hole recombination. So H nu can be written as Hc by lambda is equal to EV0 or EV0 is equal to Hc by E into 1 by lambda. So what we do is we find out the uh, threshold value of potential or the knee voltage required for the LEDs to light up or that is the minimum uh, wavelength uh, sorry the maximum wavelength or the minimum energy required to just create the electron hole pairs mm. that energy the energy corresponding to that wavelength is found out that is we fix the or we determine the uh, value of V0 required for every color and plot the graph between V0 and 1 by lambda. The slope of that graph, from the slope of that graph you can calculate H. Also you can do this simply by mathematical calculation by substituting in this equation. So our observation column is like this that is we find we write down the name of the color of the LED, its wavelength find out 1 by lambda. In each case we find out the knee voltage or the turn on voltage and from that we calculate the Planck's constant. We also calculate the Planck's constant from the graph by plotting V0 on the y axis and 1 by lambda on the x axis. From the slope of this graph uh, you get the Planck's constant. So x is equal to E by C into which are constants into the slope. In these two manner you have to determine the Planck's constant. Now let us see how we will do it. Do the same experiment using virtual labs. For that we have to search for V labs. So that we go to its site.
from the home page of FreeLab. Select Physical Sciences. From that, you get all the labs which are ready to use here. Go to Modern Physics Lab. Modern Physics Lab. So, determination of Planck's constant is here. Click upon that. The theory of the experiment, the procedure and all are given here. You can go through all those. Now, I am directly going to the simulator. You will have to log in. Once we log in, it's given here, click here to enable the flash player. What you have to do is, you go to the site information, there it will be asked, you are asked to install flash here. So what we do is, allow flash. Once you allow flash, you will be able to go to the simulator. Okay, so we have reached the simulator for doing the determination of Planck's constant. Now, this is the circuit diagram. You have a power supply or a ba DC battery and you are connecting it to a uh, rheostat. From there an ammeter, a resistor and a LED and you are measuring the potential across the so, this is our circuit. So, what you have to do is, you have to click on the mouse. Uh, and drag the wire to the position where the connection is to be made. So, once it comes like this, you connect it to the key. That is, the positive end of the supply is connected to the key. From the key, it is connected to the rheostat. The bottom terminal of the rheostat. From the negative end of my power supply, it is also connected to the other end of the rheostat. The connections are made. Now, from the, the top part of the rheostat, it is connected to the ammeter, from the ammeter to the resistor, from the resistor to the positive end of the LED, from the negative end to the negative terminal of my uh, battery. So, I am going to do this part now. E bhaagani ni jiya monadu. That is, rheostate in the mughal vashita in the ammeter leke, ammeter in the resistor leke, resistor in the LED, LED in the thickericha, namada power supply in the negative terminal leke. Again, We have to make the connection from the rheostat and keep the wire to the positive terminal of the ammeter. From the negative terminal of the ammeter, I go to the resistor. This is the resistor. From the other end of the resistor, we go to the positive terminal of the LED. From the negative terminal of the LED, I come back to the the circuit, this part of the circuit is complete. Now, what is remaining is to connect the uh, voltmeter. Voltmeters are connected in parallel. So, I connect it. The positive terminal is connected to the positive terminal of my LED is connected to the positive terminal of the battery. And the negative terminal is connected to the negative terminal of the emitter. Sorry, to the negative terminal of the voltmeter. So, the connections are complete. Now, what you have to do is we insert the key so that we can do the experiment. After uh, inserting the key, select the LED. Now, first let us begin with the red LED itself. And we have a tabular column here which can be completed. So, the color that I chose is red. And its wavelength, I give it as 650 nanometer. It is given there where we have chosen the color of the LED. 
so 650 I've given it in nanometers we'll make it in convert it into meters now I'll have to find out the threshold voltage okay. I can also fill up uh, that will all be that so we have to find out the knee voltage for that go back and we'll move the resistor so that we move the resistor to a point where my LED will just light up. Yeah, so the LED has lighted up now. So once again, let's check. Now the LED is not um, it's not uh, giving out the red light. I just move my pointer to the left and I get the knee voltage, the threshold voltage required for lighting up the red LED. This 1.89 volt. So I substitute it here 1.89. Now to add the rows, just plus, click the plus sign here, that's all. So the calculation lambda V is automatically done here. Now I'll consider the next color, say green. And I'll repeat the experiment for green with 510 nanometer. So let's again go to the rheostat value. So it has got lighted up. So what I do is once again we'll repeat it and find out the exact threshold value. It got lighted up at 2.4 volt. So I'm going to write it down here. The wavelength was given as 510 nanometer. And threshold voltage is 2.4. Next we can repeat the experiment for not 2 volt it's 2.4 repeat the experiment for the next LED the yellow one again I go to the rheostat and I just repeat my experiment I just move it forward yes the LED has got lighted up now let's see what is the potential at which the LED has got lighted. Two point one five volt. So we can enter that value here for the yellow LED. The wavelength was given as five seventy five. the threshold value of potential is 2.15 it's given as 570 nanometers so we'll enter it here as 570 the experiment is repeated for the blue color also from this you can calculate uh, by using a tabular column, you can calculate, substituting it here, you can calculate the Planck's constant H in each case for each of the LED and the mean value can be found out. Similarly, we can find out in one more method, the Planck's constant. What you have to do is you plot the graph between the V0 value that you obtained for 
each value of wavelength but you plot it against 1 by lambda v0 and 1 by lambda now from the graph you get it as e by c into the slope of the graph okay so that is our result you get the planck's constant uh, one from calculation and the other from the graph so i hope this video for the determination of planck's constant is clear to all of you uh, one more thing here you can automatically get the result by giving show result see the planck's constant they have calculated so you can check upon your values too so i hope the session for uh, the determination of planck's constant uh, experiment how you can do it in the virtual lab that experiment is clear to all of you please do contact if you have any doubts thank you <laughs>